No, there was just kind of like, it's been crazy, you know, these past few weeks. I'm sure anyone in the uh, Western Hemisphere can relate to that. But it got me thinking, you know? With all this going on in the world, don't we need just to sometimes... What the hey? Let's take over an empire. <laughs> Overthrow an empire. And that's... Kind of what got me thinking back about Final Fantasy uh, 2, where we're doing that. Okay, I had to make it work somehow. So, <laughs> last time we were in the aptly named Salamond, named after, of course, the well-known fire-related lizards, salamanders, which you can see here is clearly illustrated by the copious amounts of snow on the ground. We were sent to find some mithril for, um, or mithril? 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 No idea. Mithril? Um, for the rebellion, and then we had to save everybody who had been enslaved into doing all of the, the mining and everything. And then we skipped part of the game and instead of coming back and we just kept going down and almost everyone died and... Except for Maria and Guy. Who are now, I do believe, several levels above everybody else? Well, there's no levels, that's right. But they're still doing quite a bit better than everybody else in the game because, well, if you've seen the last video, you know they just ripped through everything. And Minwoo still is not doing anything with that bow of his. Yeah, we learned that Maria is apparently very effective when you don't give her a weapon. And since it's been a while, might as well recap part of the plot that we've experienced so far. There's a rebellion. There's an empire. The empire took over everything. The rebellion wants to get it back. Uh, but they've pretty much lost everything at this point. So you're kind of trying to help them rebuild it from the ground up. And hopefully... What was it? Select B? Yeah. Where am I going? We need to get back to the ferry, which is south. Okay. So we're going the right way. Let's see, what else? Oh, also, we have started a fight with a city guard who ended up killing us in, like, two hits. And then... Poffed. And then we... Let's see. Had to start all over because we had neglected to save at all. Uh, do I want to take the airship from Sid, or do you want to just... Do I just want to... Airship. Oh. Um, pretty sure I knew that already, but... Uh, let's see. I want to go... Ugh, that's like half my gill just to go back to Altair. Who do I talk to about going on the... Hey, dude, Basque, the city to our east is under the control of the Empire. They're doing something... I know, they're building the Death Star. We saw it. Oh, yeah, and the plot is pretty much Star Wars. So, I guess Fun Pessy 12 is not the first one... Uh... Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's not the first one to pull that trick out of their hat. I crossed the road to the other... <laughs> Come on! There we go. This is going to go inside and it's like, oh, let's see what's going here. Oh, let's see what's across the street on the other side of town. 
Haha, <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> well, if I go back this way. <laughs> Alright, so... From here... I need to get to... Altair. Wait, why is that... Okay. Okay, what's the big yellow dot then? I have no idea. I seriously. Oh, that's right, I have a raft. <laughs> and there's the airships. And here's Altair. And here's things that I can easily beat now. The scaling system in this game is so weird. They scrapped all the level stuff, and now you know, just have weird, like, skill levels, and it's all Skyrim-y, and... I don't even know. Oh yeah, the other thing about this game is everyone has weird names. Like... Gordon. Gordon is the Prince of Kashuan. His brother's name is Scott. See what I mean? Weird names. Resistance headquarters. Yo, got the stuff. The Empire also suffered heavy losses at the Battle of Finn. They're building the Dreadnought in Basque to help compensate for those losses. You wanted this, right? Please lose no time to bring back the mithril. Items. Uh, I have the mithril. You found the mithril! Now we're finally able to fight the Empire on equal terms. It's just one bar of the stuff, lady. Please take the mithril to Tobol, the town blacksmith. I was certain he'll be able to use it to make you some magnificent weapons. Uh, if I'm remembering right, Tobel's the crazy guy on the outside of town? It's been a little bit since I played. Now, question. Is the blacksmith the one with the weapons, or is it the one with... What could you want with me? I'm just an old man. Airship? Huh? Mithril? If I had some Mithril, I bet I could make some mighty impressive weapons and armor. Wild Rose. The Geezer Act is just a cover. My name is Tobel, and I'm the best darn blacksmith in the Rebel Army. Hoo hoo! It's Mithril! I've been waiting for the chance to work this metal for as long as I can remember. Which isn't very long, cause I'm ancient. Alright, leave the rest to me. Swords, armor, you name it, I'll start pounding it out. Tobol! It's been too long since I let my hammer ring. And then he go into work on making things that I didn't even ask for. You can buy the equipment made over at the shop counter. You still keep my hands full, I'll tell you that. Excellent! That... No time to talk. There's work to be done. Wait, were you here before? Uh, let's see... Okay, so now I can... I have the mithril weapons here. And he sells the normal weapons. Well, let's see. We've got a little bit of money on hand. What is everyone currently equipped with? I can't remember. He has a long sword. She has just hands. He has a battle axe. 
And he has a mithril bow. Well, ultimately, I don't know, sword? I don't have an axe option here. I don't know why. We'll give Firion the Mithril Sword. Now the question is, now can I go over here to the armor shop and get some armor? That's normal armor. Well, there's a new person here. Do they have <gasps> mithril armor? All right, so way out of my price range currently. I, mean, I can sell some of this stuff, I guess. Eye drops and canoes and rings and a memento from Scott that will allows the party to view the world map. Oh, so that's why I couldn't view the world map originally, is because I didn't have a ring. I'm sure that makes sense somewhere. The gloves cost more than a helmet. Oh. We'll give them both to Firion here, because, I don't know, main character status. Also, apparently Marie and Guy don't need any help, so... Uh, that wouldn't do anything. That wouldn't do anything. Given Minwu nothing. So now that I've given him that, I'm assuming. I love this design. It looks like part soldier, part cheerleader. Wait, what'd you say about Basque? They say Borgen's replacement in the Dark Knight as commander of Basque. Okay, I've turned in... The Dark Knight overseeing the Dreadnought's cons construction was most capable. Fortunately for us, he's tending to other matters now. The theft of the Mithril has likely knocked the Empire off balance. I would like you to journey to Bafsk. If we're to stop the Dreadnought from being completed, this may be our only chance. Learn the key phrase, Dreadnought. Because, you know, nothing's going to sound suspicious about us running around asking about the word Dreadnought. Ask about the Dreadnought. We have a man in Bafsk. He's found a way to reach the Dreadnought. I want you to destroy it. At the very least, find a way to delay its completion. I have full confidence that with you and Minwu on this ta task, it will be accomplished. Why Minwu? I mean, granted, he's he's a pretty good healer, but oh my, right, he's I me mean, never really good for much else. So what makes him so special? I mean, ah, we've got combat sign. Ah, it ran away. They fear the power of mighty Maria. Maria! 
Palom is a nice town. Fine! <laughs> That's great! And now we head to Bovsk. Home of the Bovskers. Which is either people who juggle for money or an award for whatever this world's equivalent of a movie is. One of the two. Take your pick. Which one's funnier? Which one do more people know? Do people actually know if the job's called a busker anymore? Is that street performers? Busking? No one? Minu, why did you punch? What happened to your bow? I gave you a bow so you could use it not to punch things. You do still have the bow. Why are you punching things? Okay. So this is the town of Bovsk, I'm assuming. Hey, we got it. You're here with the rebels, right? You've got to destroy the dreadnought. <laughs> Word spreads quick. You'll need a pass to board the dreadnought. There's a rebel spy masquerading as an Imperial soldier. If you can get him, get to him, I'm sure he'll have some important information for you. Probably that pass we were talking about. But, uh... We're good. What's this? Back to work? Work, I say! We have to finish even a day sooner! My glory will be that much greater! They're making us work like slaves. I hate that Borgen. Being used by a man like that really makes my blood boil. It's weird though. I can't seem to remember what things were like when the Dark Knight was in command. Do you sell anything better than what I have? Everything here is a downgrade. What about magic? Do you have any magic I don't have? Fear, Basuna, Esuna, and Silence. I don't have enough money for any of those, so. Hmm. General Borkin doesn't seem to be willing to, do, to deal with these peasants as he should. Oh, good. I realized a second after I clicked on that, it's like, this is how I died that one time. Get back to work, I swear. No one wants to work under General Borgen. I mean, have you seen the dude? Is the Dark Knight ever going to get back? At this rate, we're going to fall behind schedule for sure. Aw, I just wanted the Dark Knight's autograph. Stinking peasants. Hmm, mysterious soldier way at the edge of town. General Borgen took command of things in Bovsk a short while ago. Things have gotten much easier than they were under the Dark Knight. It's hard to believe a bumbling idiot like Borgen could become a general in the Imperial Army. Oops, uh, you didn't hear that. Uh, yes I did. Dreadnought? So you were the ones they've sent to destroy the Dreadnought. I was just asking about it, dude. Oh, don't worry, I'm on your side. There's an entrance to the sewers up ahead. It's back way leading to the Dreadnought. Be careful. If they see us talking, they may start to get suspicious. So I'm out of here. Good luck. Okay, sewer level. Everyone loves the sewer levels. They have... 
giant freaking staircases that are the entrances to their sewers. Are we sure this is Bosk and not like Triswell? Boff's cave. No, not cave. Sewer. Difference. They have sewer soldiers and goblins patrolling the sewers. Or soldiers and goblins patrolling. Is that what I said? Did I say sewers twice? I don't know. Yeah, no one can beat Guy. And Maria is just literally unstoppable at this point. Thank you so much. Okay. Long sword! That's a downgrade! I'm kind of curious about the whole empire is working with the goblins, or the goblins are working with the empire thing. Like, how did that deal end up working out? I need a Mithril Axe for him. Okay. Balloons! My arch nemesis. Ever since the Macy's Day Parade. Back in 1934. When I was an old man, for some reason. Still better than Final Fantasy 1's done so far. Oh wait, no, I just remember the dungeon from last time. Never mind. the music <laughs> all right since we have this so if him cast a cure on everybody right now just since we've taken some decent hits and if we don't use it we don't level it up so might as well use it. So, how does this solve my pass problem, though? I still need a ticket to ride. That's a dead end. Speaking of magic and leveling it up, I really should have some of these people casting spells at this point, shouldn't I? Something. Mm. He only knows fire. That's not going to work on a balloon. Running around. Hmm, let's see here. Zombies. Let's fire the zombies. There's a door up there in that corner. The 
thing I've learned is it doesn't matter how much you, how many times you cast, not how many times, how many targets you hit with the spell. All that matters is how many times you cast it. <gasps> is this? Could this be? You're too late. <sighs> the dreadnought is completed. I've been working behind the scenes to see the project through to completion. End your resistance. Kneel before your emperor. It is the only alternative left to you. Not the only way. They really, really wanted to do that Star Wars line, didn't they? It is the only way. No, no, no. I mean, it's the only alternative left to you. Consider what I've said. When the time comes, we will meet again. Oh. So you're just leaving. <laughs> Looks like you came all this way for nothing. See for yourself. <laughs> Ooh, this is neat. It's a bigger airship. You're no match for a bigger airship. Well, that was a fine waste of time. <laughs> Is there anything I can do out here? No. Get attacked by bees. And the bees ran away. Oh, of course. Guy got poisoned. <gasps> but he also kills bees. Okay. Still trying to learn which conditions stick around after combat, which ones don't. Yes. You obtain a pass from the chest. Ah, the pass to get on the airship that just left. And a portal, I think. Poison doesn't damage you on your turn, it only damages you at the end of the round. Interesting. Teleportation! Activate! Four to beam up. Okay, now where does it say I need to go? Oh, good. It does not actually have a, uh... The d d d d not we're d d doomed But it's time to d d duel They finished the Dreadnought. The world we know now is over. You have to tell Princess Hilda that the Dreadnought's been completed! She may know how to stop it. Is, like, everyone in this town part of the Resistance? The Dreadnought headed for Poft. Maybe it's already too late. I mean, come on, guys. It's just Poft. We're not really missing anything. It's literally like three houses and some bridges. You should talk to Sid. He might know what the Dreadnought's weakness is. Guns? I'm gonna go with guns. Mithril guns. And 
will sleep at the end. I know I say this every episode, every time I stream, but I mean, come on, I love this scaling gill prices at the at the ends. Why should I pay full price if I'm only going to heal up like a little bit? So now we know we must go to Poft. Save Poft. I just cannot get around, wrap my head around saying that name. Poft. Burn the bees! those things have. I just killed one of them with nine damage. Everyone's HP went up. That's nice. There's a soldier wandering around Poft. The legendary knight of Poft. Yeah, that adds up. We were attacked by the Treadnought. They're dead. They're all dead. I guess that means we should start calling it the Dead Knot. Why are none of you laughing? Oh, too busy picking up the dead. Right. I thought it was a good joke. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> can get a ship. Everyone's dead, except for Sid. You want on the airship, you pay the guy behind me. Yeah, I mean... Okay, I already know that term. Can I start out with the Dreadnought? What do you want to do is blow up that thing's engine. Brilliant deduction, Sid. Do that and you can bring down the whole overgrown tub. Okay. Question for you guys. Sid's portrait. Are we thinking grumpy old man? Or are we thinking like porn stash? 50-50, one or the other? I can't tell. I can't tell if it's just supposed to be like a shadow of like his, uh, like a lip? Or like he's got a dark mustache? Oh, there's no turn to learn. So your advice is to blow up. Airships are powered by Sunfire. I'm sure the Dreadnought's no different. Ah, okay, well what's Sunfire? Controlling Sunfire is a tricky business. Let the flames get too high and you got a runaway on your hands. The engine will blow sky high. Can I ask you about Mithril? I have no idea what you're talking about, kid. Can I interest you folks in a raid on Sid's Pride and Joy, the only airship of its kind in all the world? I've got terrible news for you, underling. You no longer have a monopoly. No matter how far, we'll have you to your destination in the blink of an eye. Of course, transportation fee co of this caliber comes at a cost. Uh, can you take me to... No. Oh. I was hoping you would be able to fly me to the Dreadnought. Like, seriously, this is all that Poft was. Don't know if we're really losing anything by it being destroyed. 
Ah! It's always gonna trip me up. There's an inn, an item shop, and a pub. I don't even know if we can call this a town. Yeah, spend another 32 gil go off the... I mean, Salamand had more stuff than this. The only thing going for this place is as a port. And judging by the lack of, like, businesses and everything like that, I'd imagine it's not a very well-populated port. Altair also got Altair also got blown up. Looks like everyone's fighting the resistance headquarters, huh? You guys have anything different to say? There's a man named in man named Poff named Sid, who might just know if the dreadnought has any weaknesses. Sid was the first person to ever build a dreadnought. A an airship. And the dreadnought's really nothing but a big airship, right? See? I was right. Big airship. The dreadnought attacked, but at least our hideout is still safe. Yeah, how'd you pull that off? Everybody who was outside is dead. Good point, kid. If we don't destroy the dreadnought, the casualties will only mount. Yeah, why are they doing that? We'll stay here and hold out until you return. It's all you've been doing. Altair was soon spared the Dreadnought's insult. Lucky for us, the hideout was safe. The townspeople have taken refuge here. Please, Lord, save our king! I'm s s scared and If we don't destroy the Dreadnought, the casualties will only mount. I get it. Why am I the only one who gets to do any- who does anything? At the beginning of the game, you guys didn't want me to do anything. Many were wounded in the Dreadnought's attack. Yeah, we noticed. The shock has even caused my father's condition to turn for the worse. Wasn't he already, like, one step on Death's door? I hate that my father has to see this. He knows. He knows his death is near. That's not a change in condition. <gasps> shock! Is there nothing you can do, Minwu? Nah. All those who live must someday die. It is our fate. Still, it is my duty as a white wizard to ease the pain of those who suffer. I shall remain here and devote myself to the care of the wounded. I take my leave of you. And we just lose our healer. The fate of the world rests on you, Furion. Waste no time in destroying the Dreadnought. Minwoo leaves the party. And he took my mithril bow! My father's condition has improved a great deal thanks to Minwoo! That was quick! Yes, yeah, so it turns out I just needed to cast Cure on him, and that was good enough. A little bit of a sooner. Really, it looks like he just had some bad... Clams? Which, I mean, considering our proximity to the ocean, you think would be... Well... Let's just say he's not the tidiest king. What do you know about Sunfire? Sunfire is the crest of the kingdom of Kashwan. Its flames still burn on the ground of the Kashwan Keep. 
Scott and Gordon have told me many stories concerning the flame. The fi- <laughs> Those names. The finer points of the tale are not known to me. However, I seem to recall that the flame cannot be passed to just any torch. Sid told us that we might be able to use Sunfire to destroy the Dreadnought. <gasps> then there's no time to waste. You must depart for Kashwan. Keep at it once. If you hire Sid's airship, the journey should not take long. That leaves only one question. What can you use to bring the Sunfire back? Moonwater. I thought it was a viable one. Now we've got to go... Oh, not everyone upside died. The, the innkeeper is still alive. And so was the heart place. See, I'm glad I didn't freaking buy Minwoo any armor. Really quick, let's go check and see if they got a mithril axe now before I spend all that gill. the other question is, does... No. He only has skill in axes. <laughs> Nothing else. Maria only punches things. So I guess let's invest in armor right now. got to go find our way to Kashwan or Kashun or however you pronounce it. <sighs> so I think I'm just going to leave it off there for tonight. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. Not going to push it too hard. Just do a little stream here, a little stream there. I'm trying to enjoy the game some more. Uh, I have a, a poll on my Twitter right now that's uh, going. If people want to see, I'm kind of asking, just get the feel. Do you guys want the shorter episodes? Do you guys want the longer episodes? You let me know. It's all good. I've got experience working with either format. I just need to kind of know which one people prefer. So other than that, uh, if you guys want to follow me here on twitch.tv forward slash Vicarian, there you can find out when I'm going live next. You can also check me out on my Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Vicarian. 
And of course, if you always want to catch the VODs on my YouTube channel or on my blog at landofawed.net. That being said, thank you all for enjoying the show tonight, and I hope to see you next time.